Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. My name is Susan LaCroix. This is my phenomenally fantastic and beautiful daughter, Julie, and we are so happy to be with you. Today is Sunday, May 14th, and as you are watching this, I'm arriving in England, <laughs> <laughs> so I will not be joining you for the premiere, which makes me very sad, but um i'll be in england <laughs> so you won't be that sad. <laughs> be that sad yeah yeah so yeah it's a it's a we leave we leave on saturday evening um and then arrive in touchdown which is also i believe mother's day isn't it oh you're right so, so it is mother's day yeah, we're filming so this ahead happy. so like i i've just kind of forgotten about that happy mother's day <laughs> and happy mother's day to you and to all of you out there too so uh, we're excited to be in, in Europe and we're excited to be doing this video with you today. As we've mentioned previously, we're we're pre-recording several weeks to keep us on track through May. And then we should hopefully be back into a more normal routine, whatever that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been kind of a busy schedule. Like Phil, we've been trying to film two videos every week to work ahead. Um and like I'm exhausted. I'm tired. <laughs> I am too. I am too. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready for a little break. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll be staying home. Um, but it'll still be a little break. But I got plenty of other stuff to keep me busy because the new catalog just launched two weeks ago. And so um it is just such an exciting, um, exciting time and exciting month. And I think that the suite we're gonna show today is kind of the perfect way. Um, for us to, I guess technically we kicked off new catalog stuff already, but this will be the first suite that we're sharing from the new catalog. Um, and, and I, we can open up the catalog. Yes! To show you what's <laughs> Should we switch to my desk and get started? I think we better. Hey, this is the bright and beautiful suite. We are in the May 2023 to April 2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And kind of the colors on the cover are very similar to the colors in this suite. This suite was specifically designed to highlight the new and returning Stampin' Up! colors. So we had a color refresh um that happens in this new catalog and so these are the new and returning colors that are featured in this suite you can see um there's a lot of them we have lemon lime twist azure afternoon berry burst bubble bath lemon lolly fresh freesia is back lost lagoon pretty peacock blueberry bushel and even some misty moonlight in fact the only new and returning color that's missing is pecan pie which doesn't really go with, <laughs> with party <laughs> celebration. Maybe a party pooper would, would have a pecan pie in it, but um, I love that this, <laughs> I love the imagery in this set because it's not just birthday, it's total celebration. We're so thrilled for you. You did it. Yay, you. And we've got a lot to celebrate here in May. We've got some birthdays, but we also have our high school graduation and eighth grade promotion. Uh, just lots going on. And so it's an exciting time to celebrate. And this is a really great bundle um, to celebrate with. So the theme here is balloons. We've got some streamers, some other accessories um, for the balloons. And I just love how the dyes keep just getting more and more dynamic. So we've We've got a tag with some detail here, some confetti. This is a little um, like a balloon uh, streamers, then some solid shapes like the um, the balloons, some of which die cut the images in the stamp set and the stars. And then um, this one is really kind of fun. And I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So this die creates kind of a fringe, but I, I wanted to show you that the die itself doesn't have a cutting edge along the long way. So you could cut it in the middle and it's not going to have that fringe end unless you take scissors or a paper trimmer and actually cut. Um, or if you just go off the edge of your paper, you know, then that, that would work. But if you do it right in the middle of your paper, it's not actually going to cut all those loose ends, um, those loose fringe. You have to make sure to move that die right to the edge. So it goes over the edge or cut with scissors like that. I also think it would make great grass 
Um, so kind of fun multi-use dye. Um, the designer paper is one of my favorite um, in the catalog, I think because it highlights all these beautiful colors. So let me move the catalog out of the way um, and show you this designer paper. It's a six by six designer paper. So you get 12 different patterns, four of each um, of these double-sided patterns. And like I said, we've got all these beautiful colors um, and they're just so fun and happy together. So um, each one has kind of like a different ombre or watercolor image on the other side. So one side is pretty colorful and the other side more monochromatic, featuring some of those colors. I have to tell you, even though I love some of the patterns that are really bright and beautiful, um, I, I don't love the paper as much as I love the thing in the back. And I don't have this in my hands to show you yet, but bright and beautiful memories and more card pack coordinates with this designer paper. It also has some coordinating memories and more cards. And I got to sneak peek the memories and more cards when I was in Utah and they are so cute and colorful and bright and beautiful. And you can kind of see in some of these projects, these pre-printed cards. And so um, I highly recommend if you're loving the colors in this suite, loving the imagery, then make sure you get the bright and beautiful Memories and More card pack. And that's on page 135 of the annual catalog. The other item in the suite, we've got the designer paper, we've got the bundle. The other item is this designer acetate. It's 12 by 12. I've just cut it down to show you. And um, there are three different sheets. You get one of each sheet. So we've got this big confetti dots. We've got more of like a scattered confetti. And the last one is more of that swirl all over. I've got some projects to share with you using this suite. I've had some fun already making a few cards um, like this one. I used the acetate right over the designer paper and then stamped and die cut some balloons. Here's the detailed die in gold foil. Here's another one that I created using the fringe die um, and an angle. And here you can see that detailed die. Um, as well. This um, ribbon is lemon lime twist and it actually goes with a different suite. It goes with the zoo crew, but the colors work really well um, with this one as well. And then I've got this one here um, with these great colors, lemon lime twist, misty moonlight, and berry burst. And then a swap card I got from Jill Olson. And we got to meet Jill um, when we were in St. George together. We had um, dinner with Jill and her husband. So that was so much fun. I love how she stamped the, um, the balloons on the background. And then this die, um, die cut the window. And then she stamped the, um, the balloons kind of overlapping in those areas. So, so much fun. I love that. That's the, I, you do it. You did, you, bleh, huh? You've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them I made when I first got my pre-order. Um, and then I, I've been getting my swaps in the last couple of weeks. So I've gotten some fun ones to share. Not a whole lot with this suite, actually. Um, a lot with the country in the countryside in a lot with that paper in general. It's really beautiful paper. We're going to be showing that one next week. So you'll have to tune in to see um, that gorgeous paper in our projects. But I think it's time to do our demonstrations. Mom, are you ready to share your project? I am. I'll make my project and then I'll share some samples that I have too. Awesome. So I'm focusing on very burst. So uh, the measurements will be in our description, but I have, um, a piece of eight and a half, eight inches, excuse me, a little different, eight inches by five in it. And it's scored at one, inch, two inches and five inches. So I don't know if you can see all that and I'll show you why in just a minute. And then um, I have this other piece of berry burst, six inches by three inches scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of designer series paper, which is five and a quarter by two and three quarters. I have another piece of that same DSP that's five and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. Should have been taking these off as I went along here. I have a piece of basic white that is four inches by two and three quarter inches. And I have another piece of base white that is five and a quarter by two and three quarters. 
All right. Here we go. Um, I'm going to start with holding this. So let's see here. I think I want to go down, then up, and then down. This is one I, I found a sample I had done quite a while ago, and I haven't done this in a while, and I love this. I, don't I even think know I know what you're doing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have your fold done, it's going to be a little card that stands like that. So um, my recommendation is before you do anything else, you go ahead and you put designer series paper here. So we're going to start with that. If you don't have it or if it's not on your or take another look at it. Because I there's so much to do. It's you know, as Julie shows all the different colors, that in itself right there just kind of makes it all worth it. And so this little strip goes right here. Oops. Put it on straight, it does. Okay. So this piece now is done. And this piece, and I think I'm going to do some stamping before I put this together. But the idea of this piece is you score a line. You're going to line this up when you're ready to put this on with the very bottom of the card. And then this barely covers the. So if you can see that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to glue this on yet, but I am going to get it ready. So I'm going to bring out some tear and tape. And we're going to put it on either end so that when we are ready, we have our adhesive on here. And a little bit more on this side. All right, there we go. So these pieces are now ready. And now we're going to focus on our the, the inside white piece and the front, that's the focal point will go on here. All right. So for the inside piece, I want my little piece of paper here. And I'm gonna take my little balloon Going to stamp off and put this in the corner with my little streamer coming down. And our inside greeting is going to be I think it's time to celebrate or I think it's time for, for a celebration. All right. Come on, mom, get it right. <laughs> yeah, really, right? Okay, so there's my inside piece. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in there as well. You know, you said you needed a birthday card for Anna and I think, uh, I think this is it. I think you may be right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have our inside piece done. And I'm going to bring out this strip of kind of a scrap, if you will. And I'm going to stamp three balloons on this. I'm going to stamp a full strength one and then an off stamped one. And then one. So I'm going to have three balloons that I'm going to die cut. And here they are. Well, that was fast. Wasn't that though? <laughs> <laughs> and then for this little guy, I took a piece of one of the acrylic <gasps> and um, it's going to go on the, the stamped off balloon. 
And so what I'm going to do, because glue dots um, are too big for this, so I'm going to take some of our liquid glue. And oh, by the way, the other side is silver. Oh, so I didn't silver, realize that. Or silver. I'm choosing to do gold. And I'm just putting a little bit. I mean, fortunately, this dries clear. Uh, but I'm just doing a little bit on here. Just to give this a little something, something, so something. Fun. It's sliding all over the place. All right, so that is done. I also went ahead and stamped happy birthday and used a die cut for this as well. So now let's we're gonna put all of these together. You're making me so nervous with that ink, huh? <laughs> I know, I but I need it. I need to do my um my little strings here. So the basically, I got to turn this the other way. So I'm going to have like one balloon here and another one maybe here or maybe up a little higher. This one kind of over a little bit. And then this one is going to go in the center. Oh. So with my little strings. All right. So we're going to do string here a string over here yeah and then a string in the middle that is kind of stamped off to kind of go oh and i have ink everywhere Woo! uh-uh not gonna happen now i'm going to close up my ink pen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It's just because I'm messy around an open ink pad and that I'm nervous because I know myself and I'm always, always getting inky and transferring. Yep. So I'm going to put two of these flat. So we're going to do this guy over here. And this guy over here. And that will get out dimensional for our, oh, this one's already coming off here. So we'll do that. And put this in the center. Oh, that one's off. This guy right here. And then this guy is also going to go on dimensionals right there. So fun. I love all these balloons. They are fun. They really truly are. And I'll, I'll show you some of my other samples in a minute when I get this card completed. All right. So we're going to put this guy right here. I'm going to get these guys out of my way. Go ahead and glue this onto our six inch by three. <laughs> <laughs> Scored properly. Oh. All right. Do that. Now we're ready to put this on here. So I'm going to take off this piece of the tear tape. I don't even know what the name of this gold is. I think I knew it one time. This is the easy version of the sidestep card. This is true. There so I go. call it the easy sidestep card. Easy sidestep card. What is the original sidestep card had all kinds of like cutting and scoring. And oh, it did. You're right. I think that's why I just fell in love with this. And there it is. Oh, I love it. But this time, oh, I stamped it. Okay. <laughs> and I won't care. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, Anna's card is done. Yay. Yay, <laughs> yay, yay. So are you gonna blink it up? Um, you know, I didn't. Um <gasps> I, I know, I know, right? But I kind of blinked it up with this. 
that's true. So yeah, I think it's good. All right, here, let me show you some of the cards that I've been working on with this suite. We did this at a team meeting. Oh, cute. Is that Azure Afternoon? It is Azure Afternoon with Lemon Lime Twist. And uh, yeah, and so a piece of designer series paper just peeking out from behind yeah. there. And then this one, um, I always, usually around Memorial Day, I used to always make um, kind of a patriotic card for your grandfather because he was born mm. in a mate. Yeah. Um, so, you know, your grandfather inspired me. And so I just pulled some of the DSP with the stars and die cut out some, put some Wink and Stella and an iridescent rhinestone in between there. And then the inside like is with another little strip. Nice. So this is uh, Misty Moonlight. Okay. And then this one we're doing for Hostess Club in May. Ooh. So I, I love that fringe. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, and your father so nicely pointed out that it's crooked. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so then the inside has, I think it's time for a celebration of some of the confetti. And nice. The to pull that in. And then this one was a swap that I got from Pam Denunzio. Oh, cute. So she used um, a, a thick white cardstock base and some of the DSP. She put two rows of fringe and then a row of the stars. And then a uh, looks like Daffodil Delight star with some sequins on it. Nice. Oh, my version of the card on page 14. Oh, I love a good catalog case. <laughs> I think the one in the catalog has the fringe like at a diagonal. Okay. So those I are my, um, what I've been working on. I, I, you can see there's a lot of blue here. So I thought, no, 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 we got to do something else. So that's why I brought out the <laughs> fairy verse. Yes, I love it. Are you ready for me to switch over to my camera? I am. I had to look and see about that sample. So I think this is the the one that inspired her. And yeah, yeah. you're right. It sort of had a little bit of an angle there. That's really cute. All right, well, I've got a fun full card today too. I'm really excited about the card that I'm going to be um, sharing with you. I was inspired by a diagonal fun fold card that Shannon West shared at our team meeting um, last month. She was a guest on our Zoom for our the um, Impeccable Stampers meeting. And she shared this fun fold card. And I love that you can get two card bases from one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Um, and I, I, I forgot to say Shannon West is a DDM for Stampin' Up! Demonstrator um, Development Manager. So she works at the home office in Riverton, Utah. Um, and she is amazing. We love Shannon West. <laughs> we do. Um, Okay, so I'm starting with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure to three inches and I'm gonna make a little mark here on the end. And then I'm going to flip it over and have the other short side at the end and do the same thing and mark it at three inches. So I've got a mark up here at three inches and a mark down here at three inches. And now I'm going to connect those dots in the cutting track and cut my cardstock so that I have two angled pieces that will be my card base. So like I said, you can make two of these fun fold cards from one sheet of cardstock. So the next thing to do is to do some scoring. So I'm going to score at, let me open this up. We're going to score at four and a quarter and seven and seven eighths inch. So I'm going to first score at four and a quarter and then seven and seven eighths inches almost all the way to eight inches. And I'm just gonna go ahead and score the other one while I got it up here. So four inches and seven and seven eighths inch. And I don't know if I said it, but I'm using bubble bath, the new pink color which I thought on its own looked pretty purple, but I think with other colors, it does look very pink. So I'm, I'm excited about our new 
this is a brand brand new color bubble bath it's not a returning color it is a brand brand new color okay so you know what i need my paper trimmer again <laughs> but that's okay um so this is going to do a zigzag so we're going to use our bone folder and we're going to fold in and then we're going to fold back out so we have this sort of angled edge and i've seen these cards before but not one that makes two card bases from one sheet of cardstock so i love that uh, we need to do some more cutting because we've got some more angled pieces to do so the very front piece is two and seven eighths inch by three and three quarters and um, I, I'm going to show you how we're going to cut the angles, but let me go through the measurements first. The inside piece here in the middle is three and three eighths inch by four and a half. And then um, I have the same measurement for the white piece that's going to go here. So that was three and three eighths inch by four and a half. And then for the background, we're going to use four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm not sure how Shannon did the angles, but here's what I did. I took my designer paper. I want this piece to go right here. And so that I make sure I get the angle on the right side, I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to use the pencil to draw along the top of the cardstock. And so then when I come back and cut, I'm just going to cut a little bit to the inside of that line and it will be perfect just how I want it. So uh, for the middle piece, I'm going to just kind of center that on the sides and the bottom, turn it over, mark it with a pencil against the card base. And for this designer paper, we're going to do the same thing, kind of center it on the bottom, turn it over, mark it. And then that front piece, we're going to mark that as well. So now I can come back with the paper trimmer and I'm going to cut all the angles that I need on these designer papers. So let me get that paper trimmer back out. And um, this was all the way to the edge, but I want to have a little border. So I'm going to take that line and line it up. Um, there you can see my pencil line. I'm lining it up just on the other side of the cutting track. So you can kind of use the ruler here and we're just trying to make that to be um, parallel with the cutting track. And then I'm just gonna cut. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but it's going to be close enough that uh, it will match up with your, with your thing. Now you could probably be a lot more exact and measure and, you know, do the whole diagonals. But whenever I've tried to do that in the past, I honestly have screwed it up and then <laughs> not been able to use the, um, the paper that I was trying to use. So this I found to be the easiest way to get the right angle. Um, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it on the trimmer and just a little past that, um, that cutting track. So I've got all my, my layered pieces here and um, bringing this back in, the, um, the designer paper is going to go here on the back. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> that one's out. Let me grab another one. Oh. You know, that the, the uh... The seal can be a little bit deceiving because when you start to see the red line, you think, uh oh, it needs to be changed. But there's actually quite a bit more tape on it. And so it's I usually just run them till they stop working. Yeah, like this one, you can see the red is coming, but um, it's not quite like this one. It has advanced. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. It, is, it is totally, totally done. Okay, so we've got those pieces lined up like that. And then the white pieces, we're going to do some stamping. So this one, the angle is on that side. And this one, the angle is also on that side. So let's do our stamping. I picked out some colors from the designer paper. So we've got the bubble bath, the berry burst, lemon lime twist, and pretty peacock. On the front, we're going to do um, the large bubble bath with the Berry Burst sentiment. So thrilled for you. And I, there it is. I have another stamp for the inside. I think it's time for a celebration. 
Um, Great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, I'm going to do um the lemon lime twist. And so I'm gonna kind of come like that. And I think I want to do I want to add pretty peacock as the small balloon. So I think I'm going to do that on the inside there and also create a little trio for the front. I like it. Yes, kind of some simple stamping since we have the fun fold card. If you wanted to, you could do some die cutting and pop things up. But um, sometimes when I go fancy <laughs> everywhere else, it's nice to kind of keep the rest of it a little, a little easier. Is this the one that's out? No, almost though. So here's our place to write on the inside. And for the front, yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, third time's a charm? I don't know. This one's running low too then. Um, so this is going to go on the front like that. So thrilled for you. I think it's time for a celebration. Nice. Of course, we need to bling it up. I brought in the iridescent <laughs> rhinestones. They're so perfect with this. They really suite, are. I feel like so. Um, I am going to do some, um, some layering technically over the balloon a little bit, but I think nice. I think that's okay. Very nice, Julie. Thank you. I'm so excited to try this card. This is the first time I glued it together and I'm so glad it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's put the camera around and we'll show off our cards together. All right. I think it's so funny that we both did fun folds with the bright and beautiful suite. We didn't even communicate that. <laughs> oh, and I... I think it's just so fun to make cards. Um, and I it really works for so many different kinds of celebrations. Like I said, not just birthdays, um, whether you're celebrating a graduation or an engagement, a job promotion, or just a job well done. I think the bright and beautiful suite um, is the perfect thing to celebrate that occasion. I absolutely agree. <laughs> well, uh, we have a crazy busy week ahead. <laughs> as we always do and well, your week ahead will be in london well true. all over all over england we can't wait to hear about Absolutely. your trip when you get back it's be been a few years since we've been able to have an in-person um incentive trip in fact this is well so in 2020 it was canceled uh or postponed and then in 2021 we got to go to maui and um and then last year in 2022 they canceled the trip and so it was virtual <laughs> um but i mean it it's not like we met for for a week it, it just wow. didn't happen and so this is i guess it's been two years since there's been an in-person incentive trip so i think it's going to be really amazing to be together so. and to um, visit with the corporate mm -hmm. team the leadership team and um with other stampin up demonstrators i'm so jealous i wish i was going to and i know I you're just going to have a blast i know i mean we had so much fun in new orleans when that was our first in person yes um and we got to be together there so that was nice and yeah i i'm gonna miss you too i think it's uh yeah, there'll be other trips so we'll go yep it. but you know right now the kids right this is a big time yes. for them and so lots to celebrate <laughs> absolutely absolutely so anyway we are gonna end this <laughs> and just say until next sunday stamping with susan and julie have a wonderful week bye everybody bye thanks for watching Love you, Mom. Love you too, Jay.